Prince William must be so embarrassed and ashamed that no matter how much he tries to smear Prince Harry, every single person, even the media itself, will always prefer Prince Harry. Now, members of the squad, what am I talking about? Now, People magazine put Harry on the cover of their magazine on Prince William's birthday, members of the squad. And it just goes to show that people, even the media itself, prefers Prince Harry and will always prefer Prince Harry over Prince William, members of the squad. No matter how hard William tried and continue to smear Prince Harry, people will always prefer Harry. And that's just how it's going to be, members of the squad. Now, someone else said this, that, wow, I am so buying that copy. Because every single person prefers Prince Harry, members of the squad. And I'm just so glad. I'm, I'm really, really glad, members of the squad. This is just, just amazing. And I love the fact that no matter how much they've smeared Prince Harry and Meghan, the world only is interested in Prince Harry and Meghan only. Now, also, members of the squad, it has come to my attention that Prince William and Kate Middleton attended the unveiling of their official portrait members of the squad. And I would describe this as just attention-seeking. And the fact that these people have attempted to airbrush Prince William. I just gotta say this. I mean, members of the royal family are supposed to be doing every single thing in their power to work and serve the public, not to serve themselves. And for Prince William and Kate Milton, they couldn't just control themselves from showing the entire world that what they serve, the people that they serve, are themselves. By attending you know, the unveiling of their portrait, printed by an artist called Jamie Corrath, members of the squad. And apparently... Their portrait will be in a museum. They're so full of themselves. They're so, so full of themselves. I mean, come on. Come on. This is the highest definition of attention-seeking that I've ever seen in my entire, entire life, members of the squad. It's just so embarrassing. So, so embarrassing, members of the squad. When will they stop? Now, members of the squad, also, I wanted to say this, that British Vogue itself understands the royal family is an institution that upholds white supremacy. And thus, British Vogue actually posted an article describing, you know, the recent suit that K. Milton copied from Meghan. But they described it in words that clearly show the fact that even they know the royal family is an institution that upholds white supremacy. And they actually posted this article saying this, the Letters of Cambridge revisits her favorite white power suit. Think about that for a second. I want to repeat this. The Duchess of Cambridge revisits her favorite white power suit. Members of the squad, this is exactly how they view members of the royal family. And I've always said this, that the institution of the monarchy just represents white supremacy. And for it to be confirmed by British Vogue itself clearly showcased exactly what we've been saying for a long, long time. Meghan was chased out of this country, chased out of the, of the UK, chased out of the UK with bullying and abuse by the UK media. They kept on saying, hey, look, it wasn't racism. It was just xenophobia, anti-Americanism. That's what they said. The royal family is not a racist Family. Prince William said that the royal family is very much not a racist family. That's what William said. And when you look at, you know, the likes of British Vogue actually posting an article, they're addressing the elephant in the room. One which the tabloids don't want, you know, the royal family being viewed or someone perceiving the royal family is racist, when in reality it is racist. 
Dabu is a racist. They can't hide their racism themselves. And to see, you know, British Vogue posting this article, Letters of Cambridge, Kate Middleton revisits her favorite white power suit. Exactly showcases the fact that what we all know, the royal family is very much indeed a racist family. And the world knows it, members of the squad. The world knows this to be true. These are facts. And British Vogue, you addressed the elephant in the room. And the world sees them for exactly who they are. They know exactly who the royal family, the monarchy is. An institution that upholds white supremacy. And time and time again, I'm just glad that Meghan got out and left the UK and is living out a happily ever after in Montecito, California. May God continue blessing Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And members of the squad, as I continue, someone by the name of Kanisha said this, I'm not even joking, but I didn't understand why the caption was controversial at first. But now I finally understand and can't stop laughing. Someone at British Vogue is a squaddy. Now, members of the squad, another person said this, and she thought that she was so clever. The universe exposes people when they least expect it, members of the squad. And indeed, K. Milton has been exposed. The royal family, the farm has been exposed, members of the squad. And I'm glad to see the fact that, you know, more and more people are finally opening their eyes to exactly what the royal family stands for, what the royal family represents. And they do know what the royal family represents. And that's why they bullied and harassed Meghan out of the UK. Despite that, I am very happy that Meghan is now happy, that she's happy alongside her husband with two beautiful, remarkable children, baby Archie and baby girl Lilibet Diana. And long may God continue blessing Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, with so much peace, joy, happiness, and prosperity. Now, members of the squad, I want to hear your opinion about every single thing that is happening. About Prince William and Kate Milton being so full of themselves, you know, going to an unveiling of their own portrait. It is at that moment that even when you're a taxpayer, you know the royal family only does every single thing for itself. For themselves, attention seeking for themselves. Everything that they do is for themselves, members of the squad. And that's the definition of every single thing that they stand for. Also, you know, this post from British Vogue on K. Milton's white power suits is quite telling. It shows us exactly what we all see. The royal family is a representation of white supremacy in the UK. And members of the squad, with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Keyword daily and consistent. Kim Milton and Prince William's look is just a look of colonialism and slavery. The pain the royal family, the monarchy caused black people, the suffering that it has caused and continues to cause even to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. I just hope that the monarchy is one day abolished. Love you, family, always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more.
stay tuned to our next video leave a comment below like and subscribe love you family always and forever sayonara